Mais après... Oh, Landita aquí, yo no me había fijado. No me había fijado, Langi. Me había fijado. No me había fijado. ¿Qué le pasa a esta gente que no quiere entrar, dime? My classes. Well, Langi. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Ludy, Nicole. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. Y míralo ahí, ¿qué? Ay, bien. Yo quiero esta foto para que no lo vea. Hello, guys. Esta gente nos saluda. Hi, Lucía. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Hello, guys. I'm Tisha. How's it going? Hello, Edison. I'm good. That's really good. Yeah. Hi, Christian. Hi, teacher. How are you? Awesome. So, so, why? <laughs> I feel a little bad. 
Why? What happened? Como yo digo, doble ido. Earache. You have an earache. Okay, I think we can start because I am tired. I want to, I don't want to sleep. I want to, I don't know, watch TV or whatever. So we are going to start. Um, as you know, we are, we are going to work with unit four. Um, give me a second. Let me show you my presentation. <clears throat> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the presentation. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. So this is the unit four. We are going to work only with the the lesson A. Vocabulary and grammar from lesson A. Okay. So this is the topic of this of this unit. Trends. Do you know, do you have an idea of what is trends? Uh, not this. Trends is the, is the most popular exactly. for the moment. Exactly. Very good. So when you say trend, is something that is really popular in the moment, right? at the moment right now. Um, if you say, we could say that fashion, fashion is a trend because fashion is when something is popular in the moment, when, when somebody or everybody uses something because other people use, use uh, that kind of clothes, fashion. Also, you can say that something that is trendy, for example, a, a music that is really popular in the moment, a song that is really popular is a trend. Um, also a trend could be, uh, I don't know, something that is happening right now. Uh, how can I say macarilla? Mask. Mask, yes, it's very exactly. trend. Exactly, that's a trend because that's what we, we have to, to wear every day. So that is a trend right now, right? Okay. So here I have the hand sanitizer reducer. Exactly. Also, that is a trend, right? Very good. So, for example, what what kind of clothes for you are trendy right now? What kind of clothes? Blouse uh, without manga larga. Okay, long sleeve. Blouse without long sleeves. That's a trend. So as we are in summer, summer we, we wear shorts and fresh uh, clothes. So that's a trend right now, right? So trend is something that is really popular in the moment. Okay. Um, so the goals, the objectives in this unit are 
interpret numbers and talk about about trends disagree with someone you know what is disagree disagree what is yes. that what is that i have a different oh. opinion than edison exactly exactly when you have a this different opinion of another person right you dis disagree with, with someone when when you have a different opinion um the objective number three to talk about fashion trends in your personal style and number four give advice so but with the number four we are not going to work with this now maybe with this neither so today we are going to see this too okay interpret numbers and talk about trends and disagree with someone okay let's see so trend the definition of trend i need somebody to read these three definitions please Remember to raise your hand. Okay, Edison. Yes. Yep. Fashion. Uh -huh. A new development in clothing, makeup, etc. Okay. What is popular at the moment? Exactly. So this could be three definitions of trend. Fashion, a new development in clothing, makeup, etc. And what is popular at the moment. Very good. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, here you have the vocabulary. Word bank. So we have these three words. Approximately, about, and around. These three, they have, the, um, they have a similar meaning. So when we say approximately, it's that you almost have the thing you're talking about. For example, if I say, I want, I need 100 pesos, but I have approximately 95. So I almost, almost have 100 pesos, but I have only 95. So that is approximately, okay. Um, also, you can say, you can say, but I have about 100, okay? So that means that you have almost 100, but you don't have the 100, almost 100, okay? You say also, them, also you can say, but I have around, 95 well i have not around 95 maybe you don't you don't have the 95 but you have around 95 pesos um give me a second let me read something give me Okay, I'm sorry, I'm here. Um, the second the second words that we have, my internet is slow, but I'm here. Okay, that's Neri, Neri, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Um, okay, the second words are exactly, precisely. So when you say exactly, is an exact number. I have exactly, 100 pesos so i don't have more i don't have less is exactly 100 pesos i also can, can use i have precisely 100 pesos okay so the, these words have the same meaning 
okay? Here, nearly and almost, um, they these words are very similar to to this. Approximately and about, because if I say um, I need one hundred pesos. But I need, but I have approximately, or no, I have nearly 95 is the same meaning, okay? Nearly and almost is the same. When you have almost, you need a very little number to complete what you, what you need, right? Over and more than, let me give you an example with this. Um, if I say, I have over 100 pesos means that you have maybe 150 or 160. So that means you have more, okay? More than 100 pesos. Okay. Um, these two, these other two are opposites. Under, less. These are the opposite of this, okay? If I say I have under, under 100 pesos, that means you have less. Under 100 pesos, thank you very much. That means you have less than 100. Maybe you have 95, maybe you have 96, okay. In the last, the last word, the, la the last group of words, increase, rise, decrease, fall, and drop. When you say increase, you are, you are saying that something is rising, okay. Imagine that you say, um, my money is increasing. Maybe before you had 100 and now your money increased that you have 200 pesos, okay? Increase and rise is the same when, you, when your money goes up, when something goes up. And decrease is the opposite, when something goes down, okay? My money is this decreasing. Before I had 100 pesos, but now I have only 50. My money is this decreasing. So in this case, I am giving you the example with money, but could be whatever, okay? Decrease, fall, and drop is the same. Increase and rise is the same. Understand? Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, do you have any question about this part? Okay, no question then. The next group of words from the vocabulary are close to, practically, fewer than, and roughly. When you say close to, practically, is almost. Okay, when you say almost, approximately, is the same, the same meaning. Okay, I have practically 20 students in my class. That means you have maybe 18 or something, okay? Fewer than, fewer than is the same as less than, okay? The same. And roughly, well, I have to explain this in Spanish because you, if I explain that in English, you won't know. So when you say roughly, it's like a duras penas, okay? When you say a duras, a chepa could be. A chepa, I have 100 pesos. Understand? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Let's see what it is. Um, if you say more adverse, okay. Uh, sorry. Sorry. That not that. Useful expression then. Um, 
So do you know what is the word disagree? When you disagree with someone. Yeah. Uh, we, we discussed that at the beginning. When you disagree with someone, um, it is like when you have a different opinion. A, a, we, here we have disagreeing and disagreeing more strongly. We have two ways of disagreeing with people. The first way is the more common because it's polite, okay? It's formal, it's polite. So when you say, for example, somebody says, uh, the beach is better than the river. You say, well, I know what, you, what you're saying, but I think the river is better than the beach. Okay, so you are giving the reason to the other person, but you are giving also your opinion for you. Uh, your, your opinion is different from the other person, right? So you can use, I know what you're saying, I see what you mean. Yes, that may be true. I'm not sure about that. When you, are, when you want to be polite, you are respecting the other person's opinion, but also you are giving your opinion. Here is different when you say disagreeing more strongly because in that case, the opinions, um, the opinion of the other person is not important maybe for you. You say that he, that person doesn't have uh, any reason of what that person is saying, and you say that your opinion is the most important, okay? So when you say, I'm afraid I disagree, it's because the other person's opinion is not important for you, and you want to give your opinion, which you, do you think is uh, the correct? Understand? Yes. Yep. Okay. So, okay. So remember, remember when we are giving or, or we are talking with somebody and that person gives um, an opinion, it's better to use this way if you want to give your own opinion. Okay, because this is polite. This is, pol oh, sorry. This is polite. This is formal. And here, when you use this, maybe you are fighting, discussing with, with a person. And that's we, something that we have to avoid, right? So this is the, the correct way to give your opinion to someone. Okay. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, now we are going to work with the grammar. Quantity expressions with specific nouns. Okay, so quantity expressions are these, right? So in this case, we are not using numbers. We are using words to express the quantity of something. So when we say, for example, all, we don't know how many, but we understand that is everything. When we say none, obviously we are talking about zero, right? Uh, as you see here in this part, you can see, for example, how much could be something. Imagine that I have, let's talk about, um, let's talk about, well, the same example I used in the afternoon. I have 20 students. If I say all of my students are in class right now, how many students are in class? If I say all of my students are in class, how many students are? Eleven. How many? Twenty. Twenty. Right. Because all means 100%. Okay. If I say, wait, let me change that. If I say most, most of my students, how many students could be that? Most of them. Most of my students are in class. 
18. Yeah, could be 17, could be 18. Okay. Most of them, most of my students are in class. If I say, let me change that again. If I say a lot, a lot of my students, how many students could be? Fifteen. Well, could be fifteen, sixteen, something like that. Right. Uh, half of my students, how many students? Half. Ten. Exactly. Ten. Half of my students are in class. That means ten. Uh, some of my students. Eight. Some of my students could be eight. Five. Five also. Okay. And none of my students? Zero. Zero. Exactly. None of my students are in class. Zero students in this case. Okay. So it depends on how many I am counting. In this case, I am using 20, but I could say 100. And you should know from 100, which quantity you are using, okay? Another thing is with this grammar, as you see here, they use the word or the preposition of. So when you are talking about quantity expressions, you have to use of. Um, all of my students are in class. How of my students are in class, none of my students. So if you see all the examples, all, all the examples I use, they have of. Okay. Another part is the terminer. When we are talking about the terminer, if you are using a the terminer, could be my, them, um, our, you have to write here the noun, what you are talking about. All of my students, all of my apples, um, half of my money. Okay, you have to use here the name of what you are talking about. But if you use here a pronoun, as you see here, I am not using anything. So maybe we have a conversation about students and if, and if I say none of them are in class, you know that them is a student, so you don't have to repeat students here, okay? Understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, please. Okay. Yes. Do you have any question in this part? No questions, people. No questions, teacher. Teacher. Hmm. Teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Uh huh. Yeah. Somebody was saying, teacher, 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 who was it? Langi. Me, Langi, I don't understand this ah, part. Okay. No, look, what we are going to do, Langi, I am going to send this video and two more that I, I made this afternoon. You are going to study, you are going to study these three videos, and I will tell you what activity you have to complete. Los tres videos que voy a mandar son la misma, o sea, yo misma explicando la clase, lo que fue en la tarde y esta para que ustedes lo vuelvan a revisar y a chequear. Y, y obviamente no hemos terminado la clase. Voy a enviar los videos y ustedes van a hacer dos actividades hoy. Cualquier cosa que no se entienda, tienen que preguntármela en el grupo para yo saber qué yo, tengo, qué yo tendría que repasar, qué específicamente tendría que repasar mañana. Ok. All right. Okay, so uh, we are going to finish with this presentation here, but that doesn't mean we finish with the class.
tenemos clase hasta las 10, normalito. Ok. Normal. <laughs> Let me, I am going to send you the videos and what activities you are going to complete now. Right. So we finished. We yes, went, so. Yeah, yeah, me. Zoom. Right. We finished with the Zoom, but we continue in the chat. So see you later. <laughs> okay. Bye.